Hey there, it's Dr. David once again. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I just actually got out of the water, just went for a surf, had a great time out there. It's a little bit cold here in San Diego. The uh, water's about 56, but don the full suit, still all good. But you know what? Before I uh, go out and do a few more fun things, I wanted to answer this question because this is really an important question. It comes from us, uh, from Dr. Scott. And Dr. Scott said, you know, Dr. David, chances are that just because a patient is new to your office doesn't mean they're new to chiropractic. So how did you set the standard quickly so that they knew how different you are? That's a really good question because I got to tell you something. I don't know about you, but in my practice, a lot of the patients that come in were absolutely from another chiropractor. In fact, if you looked at their history, if you took the time to look at their history, you'd find out that they may have a long sordid history with chiropractic care. And it's, it's kind of the elephant in the living room per se. In other words, a lot of chiropractors aren't, you know, they're afraid, bottom line. Scott, they're afraid to ask because they don't want to know what's behind all those doors. Why aren't they going? Especially if you know some of these docs. But guess what? You will become the next person on that checklist if you don't ask the questions. And it may seem uncomfortable, it may be hard, but one of the ways that you change their expectations immediately is by asking them about their experience. And listen, high volume practice, I'm not talking about having a long conversation with patients about everything they did and everything they learned, but one of the things you'll find, here's what I found a lot of. I'd ask someone, I'd say, look, Mary, it looks like uh, you've been to three different chiropractors, a couple of them here in town. Tell me, why aren't you um, still under care with them? And they'd give you whatever reason, but here's one that I got a lot. Well, Doc, I feel bad saying this, but you know, when I first started, they took really good care of me and I was getting good results. But after a while, I mean, I'd, I'd go in and I'd, I'd, I'd just, you know, I'd lay down. I'd only be in there for like 10 or 15 minutes and the doctor would come in and go out. And I just, you know, frankly, I just felt like a number. I felt like people didn't care. And that some people have even said, I felt like a cattle just getting ran in one door and out the other door. And I got to tell you, at least for me, when patients used to say that, and they said it all the time, I'd have to kind of hold back a little bit from uh, cracking a grin. Because in my office, they're going to be there two to five minutes. They're going to come in, they're going to lay face down, they're going to get their adjustment, and they're going to go home. And so they're complaining, literally, they left their chiropractor because they only had 10 to 15 minutes with them and they didn't care anymore. But here's the difference, Scott. Here's the big difference. How much do you care? See, if you can get across caring in a moment, whereas someone else couldn't get across in 15 minutes, then people aren't going to perceive you differently. Their expectations, as in your question, are going to be very, very different. Your experience is going to be different. So when Mary would ask me that exact question, I'm sorry, Mary would refer to that statement, I'd say, Mary, I can only imagine how that made you feel. And I want to promise you something, that when you become a patient in my office, now just stop for a second, I'll always try to point this out, assumption close. When, not if, but when. Yes, I assume. Why? Because I'm certain that people want what I have. If they don't, I'm going to be a little bit surprised. That's okay, but I'm certainly not going to go, if you might kind of sort of maybe want to become a Mary, when you become a patient in my office, I can promise you something. I will never, ever not spend the time with you that you require and that you deserve. In fact, my mantra, my motto is that I will take care of you the same exact way I take care of my wife, my kids, my mother, my best friends, my colleagues. I'm going to give you the best I have. I will never waste your time. And I ask that you don't waste my time either, but I will certainly never shorten your time either. I'll give you exactly what you need to get you well and also to respect your time and to get you on your way. It's short, it's sweet, it's simple, but what I do is I set expectations. The other chiropractor, they never did that. They never set the expectations. And here's another mistake I bet they made. And I'll bet a lot of chiropractors, in fact, I know a lot of chiropractors make this mistake. First visit, man, they break out the kitchen sink, right? You've got to earn this person's respect because they just spent money with you. They just said, okay, I'll give it a shot. 
And so you do everything. I mean, you lay them down and you stretch them out and your hands are everywhere and you're rubbing and you're thump doing the thumper and G5 and every machine and adjusting all sorts of areas. And 20 minutes later, they walk out of there after a nice, good 10 minute conversation, right? Boy, they love you and, and that's great. You're a little behind, but you'll catch up. And the next time they come in and they get 19 minutes and then 15 minutes and then 10 minutes and then five minutes. And then they wake up and say, you know, doc used to care about me. So take this one or leave it, but here's a Dr. David personal tip. First adjustment, the shortest adjustment. One, maybe two areas. When they say, that's it, you look at them in the eye and you say, that's it for today. I'll see you on Wednesday. Set the expectations. Wow them. Exceed their expectations. And, and Scott, you know, you wanted to say, how do you set a, the standard quickly so they know you're different? If you just do all these things, you just be yourself, be truthful, be straightforward, communicate in a relationship-based communication, not a doctor down to a patient, but communicate through dialogue, through asking questions. You'll find out what it is they want and what it is they didn't want from their old experiences. And by doing so, they'll become lifetime patients. Hope that helps you, Scott. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.